Hello everyone, this is Hank. I'm back today for another episode um, of Adobe Camera Raw episode. And today we are going to talk about the crop and rotate panels. Okay, so if you take a look at this picture, right, the first thing you might have noticed is that it's a little bit tilted to the right. And so you want to straighten it to the left. Now, uh, and then that's a job for the crop and rotate panel. Okay, so uh, to get to the, the crop panel, and I just call it crop for short, okay, you either can click it here, and then you get into it, or from from the main one, you can do AC to get to it. That's the shortcut for it, which is fast. But then also, if you want to get into a crop panel for the purpose of straightening, there's another shortcut that is helpful. And you can press an A. And then it'll do two things. It'll go to a crop panel. It, it will highlight the straighten thing for you. Like this. Okay. So it will straighten it. Um, not straighten, but it, it selects it for you. Okay. So three, four ways to do this thing. Okay, so let's let's get back to this. So normally you just go to a crop panel first and that's what we're gonna do. So we do a C, get to a crop panel, and immediately you see there's a square grid pattern on this thing. And depending on on what you want with it it look like if you don't like it, and then you can just change the opacity to zero, and then you don't have it, or, or hardly anything. Okay? Um, but I think it is there uh, all the time. I don't think you can completely turn it off. But you don't really want to turn it off. So normally what I do is I use that so that I know whether or not the photo is straight or not and and you look at here is very useful you can see the straight line don't match up so you know that okay it's not so you can change the opacity to your liking right so in this case this picture is is pretty bright so it's kind of hard to see so i i tend to change the opacity and i change the grid size to a lot larger this is the largest it will do if you go over here, you have it very busy. So I normally just crank it up all the way to the top. But Okay, so that's the first thing that uh, you need to know is a grid and how to control it. And then um, on the preset, right, the default, I believe, is full. But, you know, ACR remembers what you did last, so it may be different for you but it doesn't really matter you can change it you can always go into here and you see that there's a whole bunch of of uh, options right now let's talk a little bit about this okay in your camera usually it lets you um, set the format that you want and the default would be four four is usually three by two okay so that's the standard uh, uh, photo format from most cameras and then it allows you to change it to something different right so um, so I know that it, it will let you do 16 by 9 and some other but I recommend that for the cameras you just keep full you know as long as you're gonna do some post processing then you don't really need to do it from the camera because once you change your mind you you know, it's easy to crop, but it's, it's harder to uh, expand it where you don't have any data, right? So the Photoshop or something will have to make up for it, and it's, it's never going to be easy. So so in the camera, you do full. You can go in here, and you can do full, or for the purpose of printing mostly. For example, if you want to print a passport photo in the U.S. at least, then you need a square one. Okay, and then you can easily do a square like that. Or if you want to print 8 by 10, and then you do this, right? You do this so that 
um, there's no surprise when you send your photo out to print and then you know the printer art, auto crop it for you and you lose a head or a leg or a, an arm that happens a lot so what you may want to do is to, to put the format to the right one now this format is kind of vertical I don't want that then what do I do all you have to do is click on here and then it will switch the the ratio for you so pretty simple right similarly if you print it on a legal US uh, size image it's eight and a half by eleven okay and so on and so forth five by seven is popular print format four by six as well at least in the US four by three is the old-fashioned TV type right um, you can do that 16 by 9 is the modern monitor size 16 by 9 but you know take care because when you have this um, format and when you print you usually cropped up something okay and then 16 by 10 is a popular print format as well so um, and then when you have this right you can just move this thing to frame it wherever and then you can resize it by just dragging one corner now that leads to this lock symbol okay so now once you choose 16 by 10 doesn't matter what you, you do here it will maintain 16 by 10 the reason it does that is because of this lock symbol okay so so once you choose that it it bound you to to this thing unless if you don't want it then you unlock it here and just click it unlock it and then you can freehand it you can free size it whatever format you want okay you can do anything you want at that time if if it's unlocked now if you lock it then this thing is locked into this format okay forever until you change it right then you can always go back to fold like this okay so that's just enough about the uh, preset I hope now let's talk about the straightening thing okay as you can tell this one is tilted to the right and then you need to do it back to the left now there's a c many ways of doing this Okay, first of all, you see the angle. You can manually do this. Okay, so to to ro rotate left, you you move the the slider to the left, like this, freehand. Okay, until now the grid size kind of come in handy, at least for me, right? So I know what is straight and what is not. So that would be one way to do it. Uh, absolutely that that's manual way of doing it okay so now I just press the reset button reset okay there's many ways uh, to do it as I mentioned so you see the straighten thing here straighten tool so you can press a to access it or you can just just click on it right so when you click on it it gives you a couple of options okay the most normal way that people do is like you see you have a cross here there you you find the uh, the edge of one of the straight line in your image and you click the left mouse and then you drag hold it and drag it out line it up and let go and then it will correct it for you that is the most popular way that most people are taught to use however you don't really need to use it if you trust the automatic ACR okay so let me reset this okay now the the lazy uh, way to do it which I kind of like is that to straighten okay I hold down the control key on the PC or command key in the Mac and this thing, as you notice, like it temporarily changed it into a straightened tool without me having to press that over there. 
or press the A, right? And then, instead of like, click and drag it out, all you have to do is double click anywhere. And this thing will automatically straighten it for you. Alright, so that's pretty handy, right? Alright, so you can also go over here and double click on it. And it will straighten it for you. Okay. So. Okay. One more thing. Would be. If you select this thing by either pressing A or, or clicking on it. And then over here you just double click. I kind of showed you that already. but So there's many ways of straightening it. Okay, for some images, all you need to do is straighten, but for this image, this thing is still tilted, so you still need to fix it. And we already talked about using the geometry distortion correction in the other tool, um, the, 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 the lens tool, to correct for uh, some of the effects. So, okay, so we are basically done with the preset. And the angle now just to rotate, right? All right, so let's reset this thing. No, I don't have to reset. Okay, so just keep it straight. Now, to rotate it, you can just click this one and rotate left. Okay, or the shortcut is really easy. Left, L for left, right? So you can just click on L, and it, it would rotate keep rotating uh, likewise you can click this thing to do right or you can use the R to do it so these are pretty easy to remember L for left R for right okay L for left easy right now go over here this is like flipping horizontal and the shortcuts just too complicated to remember so so just flip horizontal like that Okay, so you just reverse the image horizontally, and you can do a vertical flip as well. Okay, so that's about the the uh, gist of all of the crop and the rotate and flip um, feature. Okay, so I would like to thank you so much for staying with me to the end. I would appreciate a like from you, and if you haven't subscribed, a subscription is fantastic. Thank you so much. Have a good one.